Professor Black Ops, Cybersecurity for the People. You see it, let's get it. Ransomware group threatens DC cop with informant data links. Informants are people who, who help the cops, uh, sometimes to communitize his snitch on the cops. But if that data gets leaked, some of those people could actually be in life or death situations. Because you talk about informants, it's a lot of informants going to put people in prison. If those names come out, it's going to be a lot of people looking for those informants. Super short video, let's get at it. Washington, D.C. Police Department has reportedly been hit by a Russian. Speaking ransomware, third actor claims to have stolen sensitive information on informants. The Barker Group has given the police three days to pay up before it shares the data with the local gangs. It's usually the case with double extortion ransomware attempts like this. The group has apparently posted screenshots of the stolen data on the dark web. This, these include intelligence report, information on gang conflicts, the jail consensus, network location assessed by Barker and other administrative files, according to the Newswire. The District of Columbia Metropolitan Police has its own officially known release a short statement claiming it was aware of the unauthorized access to their servers, but failing to confirm the ransomware report. While we determine the full impact, continue to review the activity, we engage the FBI to full investigate this matter. So, of course, like I said, if you, uh, if you lose information on informants, you're definitely going to bring in the FBI, uh, CIA, and probably the uh, DOJ. Uh, not a great deal is known about the Barker Group, although this week is emerged that the threat actors are targeted, the NBA 2. And that incident believes the attempt to disrupt operations with ransomware was largely mitigated, although the group did claim it had stolen 500 gig of data from the NBA 2. Barker also previously reported that it had breached the United Kingdom government which uh, runs the COVID-19 test and trace system in there. The ransom, ransomware taxes surged 150% in 2020 versus the previous cybersecurity cycle. Uh, the May's 20% uh, egress was content, and content was 15% group account for most of the attacks analyzed. The money between $1 million and $2 million. Once again, the Barker Group has uh, attacked the Washington, D.C. police. It has the database of informants and it's threatening to release those. I believe that's life or death. Once again, cybersecurity for the people. Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.